My name is Mark, and this is Plot Twist. I decided to do a short series on the history of horror. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to look into, but uh, I, wanted, I decided to, while I re research and look into it, I wanted to make videos just to share and enlighten everybody. Uh, so essentially, we're going to be, this first episode, we're going to look at the 1890 to 1930s period. Basically, it starts off with the first credited short film that is horror. No, it starts off with the first film that's credited to be a horror film and that is The Honey Castle by a guy called George Ellis. George Ellis is a guy who has 500 films to name a uh, German. Germans seem to really have a good, good, ha good head when it came to horror irony. He made tons of short films, horror that delve directly into conventions that are still used today, like ghosts, ghouls, demons, Satan, as opposed to the first feature length film which was made by a guy called Hans Heinz Urs, and he made a film called A Student of Prague. And in The Student of Prague, uh, it's about a poor student, a uh, master swordsman, and he has a thing for a county but it is. One of the two. And basically, he makes a deal with a sorcerer, not the devil, like, or anything conventional like that. <coughs> so, he makes a deal with a sorcerer, it doesn't know what he's signing away, really, and it's never really said what he's signing away, but you can all assume that he's signing away his soul, because what else would somebody who's dealing with black magic want? Definitely doesn't want a favour. During that time, you have 1910 came around, you have adaptions of Frankenstein, good short film, go on Wikipedia, there's a small scene you can see on the Wikipedia page that I thought was very good and quite horrific given the time period because the makeup was quite heavy and his hair was a mess and it just looked horrific. You've never seen that quite a lot. Other adaptions of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and he had just literary adaptions basically by works of Poe, Dante, yeah, you'll see yourself. Okay. 1920s came around and then we got introduced to what are the top two films in the horror section in Rotten Tomatoes. Number two, Nosferatu. Obviously, I mean, you must have heard about this film, all the horror, all anybody that's in horror has heard about this film. Nosferatu was a Dracula film from the source material of Bram Stoker's Dracula. The only reason it's called Nosferatu is because it was made by a small studio who wanted to save money and in turn never got the copyright to make the film and they got any permission or slightly any permission from the Bram Stoker estate, estate. They got told to destroy all copies of the film and so for a while it was kind of a lost film. But it was only I think maybe six or seven years later that it was a copy was found and it was released in the States to critical acclaim and currently holds a 98% of Rotten Tomatoes and for anybody that knows Rotten Tomatoes that's a pretty awesome score, especially for a horror film like you know. And the number one spot goes to The Cabinet of Dr. Calgary. Another German film, by the way, that's what I'm saying, these German guys really knew what they were doing in terms of horror. Dr. Calgary basically follows the story of a series of murders that happen in this kind of surreal looking town with twisty buildings. It's almost like a dream space. It doesn't seem to happen in a place that exists, and there's a reason for that, and you need to watch the film and get to the twist ending. And then you'll understand that. Also in the 1920s, you got The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and you got, more famously, The Phantom of the Opera. If you've ever seen that black and white still of The Phantom of the Opera with the guy with the kinny clothes that are flaring because he's marked missing his nose and his teeth are showing bald, that's Lon Chaney Sr. And I'm going to do a video on that guy because he is just a master. There really wasn't much else happening in the, in the 1920s. I mean, it's when we get to the 1930s that we get to the Universal Monsters, and that's the next video. So, just to recap, first horror film, credit is a horror film, uh, Haunted Castle, uh, first feature length, Student of Prague, and then we got literary adaptions, Poe, Dante, you got 
Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, you've got Frankenstein, you've got the Hunchback of Notre Dame, you've got the Phantom of the Opera, and that is 30 years of film right there. Uh, next episode, 1930s to 1940s, we're only covering that one day again next time. And I think that, that's how it's going to be. Because uh, obviously, I mean, the start of horror was slow. 30 year gap was what I just recapped there. So, as you know, in the 1930s, that's when the Universal Pictures began. And that was an awesome time for cinema. So, have a good one. I'm Mark. <laughs>